everybody and welcome to Bear Bear Reviews and my word am I excited tonight I am about to have the biggest hop explosion um, for, a, 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 for, a, for a little while to be honest um, although we thought the Molotov cocktail was going to be a bit of a, a hop explosion and it didn't turn out so um, ladies and gentlemen may I introduce you to Knee Deep Brewing Company from California's uh, Simtra Triple IP Hey, not meant for aging enjoy this Triple IPA fresh it is um, under three months old. It's two and a half ish months old. Um, it was the 26th of April. American is a fourth, 26th, 14th, so that's 26th of April, I think. Um, so it's had a, bit, a little bit of aging, not um, not completely totally fresh, but should be fine. Anyway, the point being, um, this 11.25% 131 IBU beast was tried out by a good few friends of mine, Stuart and Andrew Picard, um, Rob from Hopzine, and Adam from Adam Scrap Beer Reviews. Um, on their like mega tasting session day from when um, Rob came back from California himself, and they adored this. They really liked it. Uh, it was just a massive hot bomb. So, without further ado, crack this up and cool. I like I, just, I like little brand new things. I put these in a little jar and keep them um, from time to time. Um, they're pretty cool. Need Deep Brewing Company, definitely keep that. Um, like I said, they're from California, originally from Northern Nevada. Uh, started up in 2010 proper. He was contract brewing beforehand. Was our little um, call himself the um, Jeremy Warren, I think he's called. Uh, if I've seen me notes, a hoptologist. Right, so quite a nice little uh, measure here. It's 11.25 percent. So I'm not going to go too crazy. Um, yeah, it started in 2010, Northern Nevada, and then moved to California um, as soon as they could do, really. Um, so the, I'm expecting kind of the West Coast flavors to be coming out here, you know, the um, juice and pine bombs. Uh, so what we have is a really surprisingly well lacing uh, beer, considering its strength. You can see the uh, head is sticking to the sides. Not much in the way of head because that alcohol is just going to kill it off, probably. Um, lovely hazy apricot colour. I'm assuming it's bottle conditioned. Um, I wasn't particularly careful with the pour. Um, nice hazy. Oh, who knows? It might be resinous hop haze, you know. Um, but I don't wish to judge a book by its cover when it comes to beer. Um, so cool. Let's get a nose in there and let's get some of those hoppy aromas. Oh, there, there is a god. Oh man, that's beautiful. With a name like Symmetry, you probably already guessed. Um, you know, triple IPA, <laughs> gonna be an explosion of flavour. Symmetra, Simcoe, Citra. That's why it's called Symmetra. Simcoe and Citra are the two hops that are in this beer. Oh, oh sweet lordy. Oh, it's so dank, it's piney. Oh, it's like passion fruit, it's mangoey, lychees, citrus, oh, it's just intense, absolutely viscous and, and oily and resinous and... Oh. Today's a good day. Just for the aroma alone, this beer smells amazing. You can't smell particularly much alcohol, it's hidden well, um, definitely in there somewhere. Perhaps adds to the sweetness on the nose. There's almost a little bit of dankness going on there too. The citra hasn't um, isn't overtly dank. Sometimes to get like a butyric, it sounds horrible to say, but butyric acid um, smell aroma to citra beers, and that is its um, main component, one of the major components in your in your in your stomach acid. And it doesn't smell good to me. It smells fusty and smells a bit like mm, off. Sometimes with citra, sometimes this one has none of that. This one just has pure grade A mega hop aroma um, in its best possible distilled form. It's blowing gorgeous. Um, there's a nice little bit of sweetness there too. I can smell the sweetness behind it. To, you know, that, that residual sweetness from the fermentation. Uh, what the yeasties couldn't drink up, couldn't eat up even. So um, without further ado, it smells like heaven. Cheers everyone, let's give it a try. Oh. Oh, beergasm. Mm. Oh, it's like a sweet hopsicle. Oh man, this is amazing. This cannot be 11.25%. It drinks so much better. It's just, oh. Oh, 
All right, get past the orgasm trap. Um, there's an initial whack of caramelly sweetness, um, maybe a little bit of a bready note in the back as well. Very typical malt profile for an IPA. Definitely does not distract from what happens afterwards, which is kablam, sweet, ridiculously juicy um, mangoes and, and, and passion fruit and, and orange and citrus and juicy, sweet, um, oh, fruity flavours in that back end. Then you get this piney whack as well that comes and it just fills out the palate and it, it, it stays on the tongue and you get the Simcoe coming through there, you get this pine and this resin and it's thick and it coats the mouth and the flavour stays, it doesn't just disintegrate, it's sticking there and I can still taste it now um, in the, like, the backwash in the palate, I can still taste those hoppy, gorgeous hop notes, those gorgeous hop flavours and this massive juicy piney bomb in my hand. Uh, the bitterness is just right, it's 131 IBUs. But, I mean, at 11.25%, your usual rule, general rule is one point, um, one point of IBU um, per gravity point. So this is well within um, well within what you would expect. Well within what you would expect. It's relatively well balanced in that respect, but it's just massive hot bomb. Massive hot bomb. Kablam! Everything you ever want. I mean, the hops they must use in this would be absolutely through the roof. Um, and they've just squeezed every ounce and drop of flavour out into a glass. Mm. I could wax lyrical for days about this. This is seriously top notch. Seriously top notch. Smile. This is the first above above nine percent, shall we say? First above nine percent IPA that I've found that's actually doing its job, and it's actually a hop bomb. Um, Every other one I've tried in the triple IPA category does not do this. It does not have that hop hit. It becomes too much like a barley wine. There's not enough hoppage. Whatever the heck you've done, Needy, whatever you've done, I am not worthy for a start. Um, you've managed to keep that alcohol under check, that malt profile under check, enough to be able to produce a hop monster um, without being lost as a, an American style barley wine. Uh, whether that's because it's got a really simple um, base malt profile, perhaps, to try and wean off some of those sugars that would stay in the beer, or whether it's just because you are alchemists, I do not know. Um, holy moly, this is going to be a classic of American beers. Um, I don't know if this has won any awards in particular. I know they, have, as a company, have won a few awards at JBF, Great American Beer Festival, but this has got to be winning awards soon, if this isn't already. Um, my little English brain is going... It's going to start coming, you know, smoke coming out the ears, cocks flying out the mouth or something. Um, Blummin' heck. Blummin' heck. Drinks too easy for 11.25%. Uh, should be drinking wine glass bottles of it. I've got a whole bomber here. This will be gone by the end of the evening and I'll be so happy. I'll be so damn happy. Um, please tell me what you think of this beer. I, I really hope you go and pick it up. Brewdog has some. As of this day, I got this two weeks ago. Brewdog has some of this lying around somewhere. Look, I'm doing, I'm doing the finger. I'm doing Brewdog has this lying around somewhere so you, you best go get some because um, it's just seriously good. Um, and it'll put a smile on your face. And that's the best recommendation I can give you. This is the perfect summer beer. It'll get you schlozzled for one, one bottle of this. It'll get you absolutely tanked if you, find, if you fancy doing that. And it's also tasty as hell. Please like, favourite, comment, and subscribe. Um, don't get drunk. It's very bad. Uh, until the next beer beer review, I am just going to be in seventh heaven. Oh, I even given it a rating. Oh my god. Nine and a half. I completely forgot. Um, nine and a half, bordering upwards. This is absolutely one of the best IPAs, let alone triple IPAs, definitely the best triple. One of the best IPAs, one of the best hot bombs I've ever had. And you know I've had some damn good ones. I'm very fortunate in that respect. So, um, yeah, so good. I forgot to give it a rating. Um, oh, just go get one. Go get one. Please like, favorite, comments, and subscribe until the next Bear Beer Review. Cheers.